So welcome to today's lab. So today we will um, get familiar with uh, dictionaries and also tuples in Python. So those are uh, two of those uh, most important important data containers in Python. So first, uh, let's go to open uh, in our Cloud9 uh, Python editor. So let's go to our local repository. And let's upload our uh, update our local repository that is git pool. OK, uh, so let's create a new um, Python file that is lab4.py. OK, and let's read original comments that is lab4 dictionary and tuple. All right, so let's start our first question. So the first question is that we are going to create a dictionary that we call it uh, my dictionary. So my dictionary equals. <clears throat> so dictionary dictionaries are defined as a pair of curly bracket. And normally, if I have multiple key values, so I will put that in this way so that it is easy for me to um, see and stand the structure of the dictionary. So the first is an, the key is a name, colon, and the value is Tom. OK, so that is the first key value pair. And we use comma to separate uh, those key value pairs. Uh, the second one, the key is ID, which is a string. The value is a number, which is one to three. All right. OK, uh, so those spaces are ignored in Python. So uh, if you add more spaces, those will not be uh, those will be ignored by the interpreter. However, so by adding those spaces, uh, I, I feel like it is easier for me to understand the structure of those um, Python code. OK, so now let's say print <coughs> my dictionary. So here I have a one dictionary that defined, so it has two key value pairs. Uh, the, the first case name value is Tom, the second key is ID, and also value is one to three. All right. The next question is that can I get all the values and also all the keys into a list? And yes. <clears throat> and if you remember that uh, for dictionary, they have those built-in method. So if you use values, it will return all the values in the list. Okay, so it will return all the values in the list. And if you use uh, keys, and this will return all the va all the keys into the list. Okay. And dictionary also has the items method, which are written all the key value pairs into tuples, and also all the tuples will belong to a list. Okay, so that is 3.2, 3.3. Uh, so can I change the value of the ID key to 3 to 1? Okay. Uh, so here we want to change the value of an existing key. So in dictionary, it's pretty simple. So we just call that dictionary and we tell the existing key, which equals to the new value. And now if we print my dictionary, and we all see that right now the value of the ID key now has, uh, has been changed to this new value. All right, uh, 3.4 is that uh, so we want to delete this name key value pair. OK, actually, we didn't mention that one in the lecture, but it it doesn't matter. So uh, we can always Google it and also find out the solutions online. OK, so here you can see uh, uh, Google it, delete dictionary key, dictionary key. Python. And so normally, um, 
uh, we mentioned this website in the lecture. So normally the Stack Overflow is uh, is the one that provide the best solutions. So for example, if I check this one, so you can see uh, there's a person that asked this question, exactly the same question. And you can see there are several answers. The number indicated how many people that think this answer is the best one. And this check mark means that the question owners um, adopted this question. So you can see to delete a key uh, in the dictionary, you can use the dictionary.pop method. So it is dictionary.pop, and also you put a key there, and also uh, the default value they provide as now. Okay, and if you check the others, so they also provide the other solutions that is use delete. Okay, so let's try this one. So dictionary.pop. Okay, so my dictionary.pop. And in this case, the na k is name and the default value. So in case and that k does not exist, so what will be the value being returned? And after that, let's also want to print my dictionary. Okay, <clears throat> and you can see that uh, right now um, we all have ID key, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so um, that is 3.4. Again, there are many ways to do that. So you can also try the delete function, um, but you can choose anyone that you like. So 3.5, so we want to create a dictionary that is called my tweet my tweet equals uh, where the tweet ID is 1138. Uh, so you can pause the video here and also type the tweet from the instruction. Okay, uh, so here you can see in this dictionary, so uh, we have tweet ID, which is uh, uh, the value is an integer. We have coordinates. The value of that key is a tuple. Remember that a tuple is defined by this comma. And as a convention, we put the tuple into a uh, parentheses. And the last key is visited countries. And um, the value is a list. OK, so we have three items in this list. OK, so let's print my tweet. Okay, so now we have defined uh, this tweet dictionary. Actually, so if you check the tweet API online and you are seeing that uh, the real tweet API is following the same structure. Okay, so here we are looking at the Twitter developer website uh, where you can see this is an example of the tweet. You can see it is in a JSON format. So this is a JSON document. However, as we mentioned in the lecture, when you load JSON into Python, you can simply treat JSON as a dictionary. So here you can see, even it's a JSON document, actually it's, it has a similar stru structure as the dictionary. So you can see we have a, a pair of this curly bracket. Within this document, we have key value, key value pairs. You can see it's, and uh, in Twitter, object, we can see it is more complicated because uh, they have those nested uh, dictionaries or nested JSON document. All right, so let's go back to our uh, simple tweet. Uh, so the 3.6 asking that print the number of visited countries. Um, those are countries and also places. Uh, so uh, here we have three items, so we know the answer is three. So, but how can we let Python to count the number of those visited countries? So we know that uh, to access <coughs> uh, the value, we can call the keys. Okay, we can call the keys.
So now, uh, the by calling the case, we have this value. The value itself is a list. Okay, so we can treat this one as a list. Okay, so now we treat this one as a list. So this one equals this one. Okay, so now how can you get the number of items in this list? So now you by treating this one as a list. So pause the video here and also think about uh, a few seconds. All right, so the answer is that we can use the length function. So if we use length, L-E-N, and so we treat this one as a list. So we calculate the number of the items in this list. And now if we run it, we can see we have three items, uh, which is great. Okay, so the, the important part is that so we understand we can treat this one as a list because this one retain a list and that also equals to the list. All right, all right. So now, <clears throat> um, uh, hopefully the following two questions will be easier. So 3.7 is asking, can we add CH to these visited countries? Okay, so can we add CS to these visited countries? So remember that we are going to add a value into an existing value okay so we are not adding new key value pairs in the dictionary so we are at we are going to add a value into this list which itself is a value of this key so first we have to have that list so the list is this one okay so this one is a list that is this country list so now we have this country list. How can we add a new value into that list? So think about that which method uh, we have learned that can do that. <clears throat> All right, so the answer is that we can use append. You can also use extend, etc. But personally, I prefer using attend. So if I see the list dot append ch, and now if I print my tweet, okay, so now you can see the CH is not into the list. The list is a value of this key. Okay. And the last, uh, uh, not, uh, the next is that we want to check whether or not the US is in the list. Okay. Whether or not US is in this list. <clears throat> Okay, um, so that <coughs> uh, so to check an item in a list or not, so we can use that in function. So we can see uh, us in. So we are now checking whether or not a value in this list, which it itself is a value of this key. So if you check use in function directly on dictionary, it will only check. <clears throat> okay, it will check whether or not uh, the U the US is a key in that dictionary, which is false. But we are not going to do that because we want to see that whether or not US is in a list. Okay, the US whether or not US is in this list, which equals to this list right now. So now if we run it. <clears throat> Yeah, we still get false, but that false is the right false. Okay, so for example, if now if you switch that one to my, okay, and you can see that is true. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, the last one is that we want to change the coordinate. Uh, into a new value. So we want to change the coordinate into this number, negative 81, and also, okay. Uh, so we know that for the coordinate, the value is a tuple. So if you want to change uh, this one, if you want to change the value of the tuple to this one, so uh, you may feel like, okay, so that is not allowed right because the value within the tuple cannot be reassigned 
So let's first let's get the tuple. So that's my tweet. And <clears throat> that is the coordinate. And if we print that one. Okay, so this is a tuple, right? So if you want to change the value within this tuple, you cannot do that. Why? Because uh, within the tuple, once that has been defined, you cannot change that. So for example, if I want to say, let's say the, the first value equals negative 81, so I will get an error. Okay, because the tuple does not support reassignment. So if you run it, you can say tuple does not support item assignment. Okay, so looks like you cannot do that. However, the, the question is asking that I just want you to change the coordinates to this one. <clears throat> I didn't ask you to change this exactly tuple. Okay, I didn't ask you to change this exact tuple. So, what we can do is that so okay so I, I can now change the values within the tuple but I can just replace this entire tuple because this entire tuple is a value of this key in the dictionary okay and the values in the dictionary can be reassigned okay so I cannot change the values within the tuple but I can change the entire tuple Okay, hopefully you are with me. So we are on the same page. So how to change the value of an existing key? Well, the, the syntax is that my tweet, and as we find out that key, that is this one. So if we want to change the value of existing key, we just call that existing key equals to this new value. Okay, and now let's print my tweet. <clears throat> okay, so now you can see the coordinates has, uh, has been changed. So for this question, so you cannot change the value within the tuple. However, the tuple itself is a value of a key in the dictionary. So I can change that entire tuple. I can use a different tuple. Okay, so I can change that tuple, so which is a value of that dictionary. Okay, so that is today's lab. So once we are done, let's upload that one to our GitHub repository. So that is git and all. <coughs> oh, sorry, git and dash dash all. And let's commit. So lab four dictionary and the tuple. And you can write your own, own comments in the git commit and git push. Uh, so now if we go if we go to the GitHub and we will see the lab four, <coughs> which is here. All right. Um, Again, the URL you need to submit is the URL of your GitHub. 